Right, I've just been doing a little bit of research on um, my friends at New Lynn Bailers, which I got this letter from the court um, last week. Um, now, basically, the, the bailiff that was that was coming to the house when I was there refusing to pay my council tax was called Benjamin Smith, um, and I thereafter made a complaint because his name wasn't on the certified bailiff's register. Um, must have been looking at Cambridgeshire. Funnily enough, don't know why. Didn't actually realise that different areas. Um, <laughs> it was a list of different areas, but um, so basically, I've tried this morning to phone um, the Ministry of Defence and the um, Ministry of Justice, sorry, and um, the Office of Fair Trading. Um, Office of Fair Trading number was wrong on the website I looked at. Um, I've got through to the Ministry of, Defense, um, Ministry of Justice, but uh, no one was available to take my call. And basically, um, they suggest that you contact the court directly, which I've done about four times or five times with Cambridge County Court before I even got a reply. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why this is still going now. Um, so they've given me three names, and Mr Smith is on it, and a Darius... Pasky Wicks and a Raphael Wozniak. Um, so I've managed to find a, a list of Newlands employees, which makes very interesting reading. Um, now bear in mind that Benjamin Smith uh, came to my house and on four occasions he, he put letters to the letterbox and I wasn't here. Um, and the first time he came, I think, um, he walked up to the door. I was still in the kitchen, but the blinds were pulled down a bit, so he wouldn't have seen me. He walked up to the door, saw my car in the driveway. In fact, that was a bit of a surprise to him, really. <laughs> um, came up, posted his letter, and left. Without even attempting to knock on the door or ring the bell. So that's it's completely illegal. They can't do this. They have to speak to people in the house. And at the end of the day... Um, Maybe I wouldn't have answered, maybe I would have, but the, the point was he didn't even try. So interestingly, Mr Smith, if I can remember, oh here we go, uh, was actually granted a new licence on the 23rd of May this year. So he's completely broken the law and <laughs> you know, just get a new licence. And that was the, com the, com the initial complaint I sent to Cambridge County Court, was that this is what he'd done, and this is illegal. So all they've done with this letter is, is pass me off to Oxford, which is fine, because I can now justify that it was in fact Watford County Court where he got his licence from. So I shall now write to them, even though Cambridge County Court should have passed the message on, basically. I shall follow this up. Uh, the other two, um, no sign on. So... Whether they were ever, ever even licensed, they're, they're presumably no longer working for the firm. Um, and obviously I've had nothing back to say that anyone's been, been disciplined in any way because they were breaking the law. Um, and of course I reported this to the council and the, the Cambridge Police at the time as well. Um, and of course they did nothing because, you know, it's, it's alright to break the law when you're working with the police. That's, that's the message we're getting across loud, loud and clear with all these... Um, with all these things that are going on. So, um, there you go. That's, uh, I shall follow that up, and I'm sure there'll be a video to come about that. And um, thank you for watching again.